In our previous video, we described an overview of interfaces, what they are and why we want to use them. In this video, we're going to do a hands-on code example. So I'm going to use the vehicles project that we've been using all along. I am going to go back in time just a little bit. You might remember I made this factory method where we could simply take a string name of a class and we could generate an object from it. Love it. Uh, but in, in the case of interfaces, I want to be able to look at each type specifically. So I'm reverting back uh, to a previous version. I just went ahead and grabbed it out of GitHub. So you can see here, I just grabbed a snippet, copied it straight out. I didn't revert because all I need is this little snippet. So nonetheless, we now have uh, our different objects getting constructed separately. Now, I also talked about how to create an interface in the last video because a lot of times people say it, it an interface is a lot of extra typing, but it's really not. Let's see how easily we can make an interface by using the refactor extract interface approach. Let's take the class vehicle. Let's open it up and just kind of take a mental screen capture of line number 12 here, public class vehicle. Now watch what happens when I right click and I say refactor and I say extract interface. The IDEs make this really easy anymore because they let me go ahead and pull up anything that I want to pull up into an interface. So I could take our go method int distance. I could take the getters and the setters for odometer and gallons of gas as well. Uh, might as well grab those, not doing me any harm. They will remain in this subclass, uh, but they will also go to the interface. So I choose refactor. We'll give it just a moment here. And now take a look at the class called vehicle. If you see vehicle, it says vehicle implements new interface. Well, I wanted to give that a little bit better name. So let me uh, F2 this and I'm going to call it mobility. There we go. And refactor. Normally you do this all at once. I just mistakenly didn't change the name. So there we go. Public class vehicle. Now take a look at that. Public class vehicle implements mobility. So it's implementing our interface. Now let's take a look at mobility. Do you see how this is just a list of method signatures? And they terminate with a semicolon, not an open and close curly, but a semicolon. Given that, I can now go back to my driver class and this factory method, which is returning vehicle, it could also return mobility. That's fine because that is essentially a variable type and a variable type only needs to be a list of method. I do need to make a couple of other changes like where I'm declaring the variable my vehicle and also this array list, I need to change its type. Uh, probably a couple of other references I have. Yeah, this guy right here. Uh, whoops, you change that. So generally it's smart to make the interface first because then you don't have to go back and refactor all this. But forget about that. Just realize how simple that was for me to do a, a refactor extract interface. I got my interface mobility and now vehicle implements this interface mobility. So do that as an example. I will probably revert these changes back, at least the ones in driver before I commit just for cleanliness. But nonetheless, that's how easy it is to make an interface from scratch using the first approach, which was the refactor extract interface, extract interface approach. Now, that fulfills our obligation on our mobility interface, which is this one here. And that was easy enough to pop out. What if I want to make a new interface and I want to apply it to an existing vehicle. In that case, uh, let me go ahead and make that interface from scratch. So this is the other way to make an interface. Right click new and I'm going to say Java interface. Notice it has a little different icon over there on the left. I'm going to call this one low emission vehicle. Okay. And low emission vehicle, I'm going to give this a method signature. We're going to say, um, we'll say void apply tax rebate, something like that. And uh, it's a good idea to put some Java doc over our methods in an interface because provided we've done that, we don't have to give heavy Java doc when we actually implement this interface. So, uh, you know what, let me do apply, apply tax rebate and let's take, a, let's take a, an amount. So I'll say int amount. So I'll say apply a rebate for driving a low emission vehicle. Now I'm going to kind of do this kind of a roundabout way. I'm going to make a class that accepts a variable of this type before I actually have a class that implements this interface. If that doesn't make sense. Don't worry. Just kind of watch along here. So I'm going to make a new Java class and we're going to call this one the tax agent like so and then finish. Okay. So for tax agent, 
we're going to say uh, public void apply for tax credit. And what variable type are we going to take here? We're going to take a low emission vehicle, LEV, variable type. Now, what's, what's going on here? Low emission vehicle, remember that's the interface that we just made. Okay, and that has a method called apply tax rebate. Tax agent has a method here that is accepting a variable of this interface type. And we'll say, put some javadoc up here, for qualifying vehicles, apply a tax credit. I'm sure you saw my spelling error before I did qualifying qualifying vehicles apply tax credit. So now I'm going to say LEV and what are the methods that I'm allowed to call here? We'll take a look. Apply tax rebate and then equals get class hash code notify notify all to string wait wait wait. If you notice those last 10 or so methods, those are methods we can call on any Java class. The only one that's specific to this variable is apply tax rebate. And let's say that our tax rebate is maybe $1,000 or pounds, sterling, whatever you want to call it, um, euros, bat, whatever your currency of flavor is. So uh, nonetheless, that, uh, you know, I don't like having, uh, I don't like having n magic numbers like this. So we probably ought to refactor this and extract it to a constant, but uh, nonetheless, we'll just leave that like so. Okay, so let's go back now to driver. And, you know, well, sorry, one more thing I'm going to do. That tax agent, I'm going to make that a static method. Remember what a static method is? It means we don't need to create an object of this class to invoke the method. The method, a static method, when we invoke it, we invoke it on a class, not on an object, because it's not doing anything to change the state of an individual object. Okay, so let's go to driver then and try and invoke this method. And let's try and do it in our create vehicle, uh, in our create vehicle factory method. So I'm going to do a little refactoring here. I'll say Prius P equals new P, uh, Prius. And then well, let's, let's go ahead and spell that out. I don't like one letter variable names. And then return Prius. So this still works as it used to work. I just separate it out so we can see this in better detail. Now let's go back to our, let's try to apply our low emission vehicle uh, rebate to this Prius. So I'm going to say tax agent and note, note the uh, only method I can call here, the only one that applies, is apply for tax credit. So uh, tax agent apply for tax credit Prius. Now take a look here. As soon as I click away and save, what happens? We get a red line. And what does the red line say? Incompatible types. Prius cannot be converted to low emission vehicle. What that means is we have not set up this relationship yet. This this relationship where Prius implements low emission vehicle. So Prius is an object. And remember polymorphism, variable type tells us what methods we're allowed to call, object type tells us what will happen. So the variable type, if our object is Prius, the variable type can be Prius, or the variable type can be vehicle, or the variable type can be mobili mobility. Once we set up this relationship between Prius and low emission vehicle, then the variable type can also be low emission vehicle. In other words, think of it this way. Remember low emission vehicle. Now let's go to our tax agent and notice that that accepts low emission vehicle. That's like a special key or a special combination. The only way we can pass an object into the supply for tax credit is if that object implements the interface low emission vehicle. Take a look at Prius. Does Prius implement low emission vehicle? No, it does not. It extends vehicle, but it does not implement the interface low emission vehicle. So let's change that. What we're going to do now is we're simply going to draw this dashed line in code. So I'm going to say implements low emission vehicle, like so. Now I save and something surprising will happen. We get a red line here. Why do we get a red line here? Prius is not abstract and does not override abstract method apply tax rebate and low emission vehicle. Now this is interesting as well, because remember if we implement an interface, we have to provide a definition for every method in that interface. What this compile error is telling us is we're implementing the interface low emission vehicle, but we are not providing a definition for the method apply tax rebate. Luckily it's willing to help us. We just hit Alt Enter, apply all abstract methods, Scroll down and guess what? 
apply tax rebate. There we go. So let's take this tax rebate and let's make a new attribute up above. We'll say private int tax rebate uh, equals zero. So we'll initialize it to zero. But then in this apply tax rebate, we'll say tax rebate equals amount. And then we also might want to make some kind of Boolean that says tax rebate applied. So why don't we go ahead and do that? We'll say private Boolean tax rebate applied equals false. We've, it's kind of redundant with the tax rebate being greater than zero. It's obvious that one is applied, but nonetheless, tax rebate applied equals true. Okay, uh, now in our system out print line, we can say plus tax rebate, and then we'll say plus tax rebate, and then we'll go ahead and give it a space for just for some cleanliness there and terminate with the semicolon. So now we're making the tax rebate part of this uh, two string call. So I save and take a look, everything compiles. Did you notice that I have now taken care of my obligation to implement all of the methods in low emission vehicle, but it's, at the same note, take a look at driver. We can now pass an object of type Prius into this apply for tax credit method, which accepts only a parameter variable of type low emission vehicle. So now that works. Can we do the same thing with Cavalier? Well, let's try. Cavalier, Cavalier equals new Cavalier. Okay, return Cavalier. So I've just essentially replicated what was already there, just pushed it off to a few more lines. Tax agent dot apply for tax credit cavalier. Can we do that? Press enter so it knows I'm serious. There we go. No, notice that red lines because while well, Prius does have a contract with low emission vehicle, cavalier does not. So we can pass in the Prius. We cannot pass in the cavalier. So note to self on interfaces. A nice thing about using an interface as a parameter variable type is that this is behavior that essentially can be added to a class sometime later. So Prius did not initially meet the contract for being passed into this method, but after I had Prius implement low emission vehicle, then an object of type Prius can be passed in as a variable type low emission vehicle. Let's run and just make sure. So I'm going to run and what I'm hoping to see is I create a Prius and I'm hoping to see that the output indicates that there was a tax rebate applied. So milliamp hours, that's fine. Miles per milliamp hour, gallons of gas, 10. Miles per gallon, 25. Odometer, 10,000. Uh, do you want to create another vehicle? Yeah, let's create a Cavalier. So we'll say Cavalier just to confirm we don't see it in Cavalier. Is it a convertible? No. Gallons of gas, 10. Miles per gallon, 10. Odometer, 1,000. No more vehicles, distance travel 100, reimbursement rate 45, uh, take another trip, no. So I scroll up a little bit on our output and take a look, Prius milliamp hours 1,000, miles per milliamp 10, tax rebate 10,000, or 1,000. Once again, the line below, tax rebate 1,000. But now we come to our Cavalier and no tax rebate. So that's a look at how we can implement interfaces in a Java program. I hope this video has been helpful and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.